everybody back with another Star Real video and I finally found a pretty good Donahang friend. I would normally use my own characters for this. I know I used a E6 Blade in the past because I was like, yo, this would be really funny if Blade could solo this. But I actually want an in-game look at Donahang's damage. I've seen the hyper carry teams where you run like Bronya, Tingya, and, and I think, um, I forgot what the other character was. Another another support character. Pretty much it's like super buff Don Hank. You know, it's like 9 million damage or some crazy number, right? Honestly, more of a realistic approach to it. Uh, Superposition 1 on this one. Uh, traces are pretty good. Uh, the Rogue set's the correct set that you'd run. E4. I've actually not seen an E6 Don Hank because normally what I do, right? I didn't do one for Kafka because I was going to record my own and then I never got around to it. Unfortunately, that was my fault. But I look for an E6, and then I, you know, I'm like, okay, am I going to make a video on this? Um, this is pretty generic team. I mean, of course, you'd rather have the Locha, but everyone's pretty um, uh, skill point positive, Silver Wolf. You just activate it, hopefully, once to get the imaginary debuff, and then Tingyun buffs, and then normal attacks by is probably never going to attack. Um, or not attack, sorry, use your E. So, pretty good. Let's get into it. Hopefully, it's not too loud. I'm going to turn down A. Had. Uh, but yeah, um, I will say Dunhaik's speed is going to be rather low compared to the rest of my team. Yeah, 102, and then it's only plus four. Okay, 106. Yeah, mine's like one. I did not notice my silver put that much speed. Yeah, my units are pretty fast for uh, these two because I needed to get them over my other characters because the rolls kind of went a little too crazy. I'm also not the most speed-tuned person. Let's attack that as a really matter. All right, we're turning that down a bit because that was loud for me, so I can only imagine it's loud for everyone else. Um, hmm. I guess the only one we really need to is this one. Of course, I didn't get lucky. Oh well. Um. Let's try the two, I'm curious, without any, like, just Tingyun buff. Okay, that wasn't too bad, that wasn't too bad. No, we'll just do this. Heal up real quick. The one thing I'm not a huge fan of with Donhang is that you have to be, like, pretty, like, not passive, but pretty smart with your skill points usage. Um, yeah, I'll just attack here so I can get the full one. Unfortunately, we won't have the, uh, extra crit damage from the imaginary. Um, let's see what it looks like. Sub Ting and buff. Alright, let's see what this looks like. Not bad. Not bad. Um... Man, the, the, the skill point usage is really, like, messing me up. Oh, that's not what I wanted right there. Okay, since you lowered my speed, I'll try to get imaginary on this. Lightning, yeah. One issue with Silver Wolf is you get bad RNG, you're kind of screwed. And I have to buff here. Yeah, I would like the ult, please. Oh, poor Silver Wolf. I didn't think she'd get targeted there. That's fine. Bye, the OP. Alrighty. Don Hang attacks next. He'll have ult though. So we'll just do this imaginary. Finally. Alright, let's see what the, let's see what the damage is looking like here. Um so if I normal attack. Um hmm. I don't wanna waste it. Hmm. How many stacks do you get in his ultimate again? Two. Okay, so I couldn't do level three anyway. And then we'll just do this. I will say, even though you have to like kind of think about uh, how you want to go about using Don Hang, I will say that the um, one, two, three. That's so cool. I would love the thinking part is really cool. Uh, and he does pretty decent damage. I want to get to a point where I have three stacks when he dies. So I'll have to use that. Um... All 
Alright, perfect. That won't kill. That should kill either. Man, this Don Don Hang is a uh, this is a really slow Don Hang. All right, how much is this doing with like the extra like? Okay, that's cool. I'm gonna have to like just start popping all these though. Yeah. All right, go in. I will say I am kind of impressed. Like it's not like anything like crazy crazy. Also, the fact that he's so slow is unfortunate. Um, I should just be able to let this, like, full on rock. Yeah. And this is without the crit damage buff? Yeah, I'm not too worried about that. Do that, I will have to reapply. Man, not having, uh... I mean, I lose doing pretty much the same thing as Loicha, but, like... I can't imagine if your healer wasn't like kid enough with their ult to not be able to heal or having like a chair or whatnot. Bop, bop. Let's say this should give ult. Awesome, awesome, awesome. I will say his ult's so cool. His ult's so cool. Um, did I just do this? Loki. Yeah. Oh wow, actually way more than I thought, not gonna lie. Alright, falls over. I feel like the ult will kill, but we'll just do that. I sucks it, so wolf can't do that. Alright. Yeah. Bop, 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 bop. Okay, well, it's not like anything like super crazy there, but I will say I am pretty impressed. Um Nothing. I mean, if it wasn't a crit damn, I, mean, eh, I probably won't ever use that. Overall, it seems like a very fun character. Uh, if you get his max out every single time, he's going to be doing nasty numbers. Easily, probably the best DPS in the game. Well, hardest hitting in the game. I don't know if I'll bet he is really high management. It's really annoying. I just saw there I had to not go full crazy every single turn. Um, with some pretty has to be positive characters like I know Silver Wolf's kind of screwed me over but Bailu is always just getting one skill point Tingyun is using it once and getting more skill points back uh, it's really really man like goes with how much you can get his ult um, Tingyun is really good for that I think Branya is really good but I think if you aren't speed tuning it perfectly and getting like everything down to like every other turn you're using uh the max or if you're doing it every single time you have that rhythm i think it's easier to use ting yun with him because she helps him get his ult it'll help you stay um like skill point positive or skill point neutral to where you're like you still have skill points for everything you do um i like to be skill point positive with my teams just if something hits pan i need to use the healer's ability whatever it may be right only issue with the team is you have to like really think you have to like really have your team built out for him but he still like he still works right if you're doing the um normal attack and then the big burst like every other turn you could run him on basically any team realistically and be absolutely fine um as long as it's not something like you know using yukong e every single turn or um I guess Silver Wolf here, if you get unlucky and you're spamming Skill of Wolf, or you're using another team that is always using their E every single turn, right? Obviously, you can't do that, but overall, very, very nice showing from him. I think the damage was pretty good. The AoE is really, really nice, as you saw in the last phase. I just almost completely destroyed it all in one go, even though I was only targeting the middle one. But other than that, that'd be it for the video. Uh, let me know what your thoughts are on Don Hank. Seems really cool. I'm very curious if anyone in the comments has e6 him i've seen like a couple people like big big youtubers on twitter obviously max him but i haven't seen anybody in game with it so let me know if you've seen any in the comments and i'll catch y'all in the next one thanks for watching